I know it's been a little quiet here on the Brickitech channel the last few weeks or so, but it's not because I've given up on my Lego journey. Actually, quite the opposite. I'm working towards a goal that I've had for a long time that's very important to me, but isn't particularly interesting to film or watch, I'm assuming, and that is the process of getting the storage room of doom organized. I've not only been doing that, working towards taking care of Lego sets that I've built in the past and getting them cataloged, inventoried, put into bins, but also listing sets that aren't of particular use to me anymore and then selling those, packing them, doing all of that stuff. So essentially just like the behind the scenes of of Brickitect, if you will. Know that some people will probably say, Greg, that is the most interesting thing that you could possibly upload. But I was just like in the zone and I'm working on this and I just wanna get it done. So I have some space in the storage room where I can actively work on those things as opposed to it all being out here. And I, I just, honestly, I just wanna get it done and it's a big goal. So that's why I've been kind of quiet. I didn't think people would wanna watch a week of me literally organizing, listing and selling. But now that I think about it, I kind of regret not sharing it because it is a part of the journey and maybe it would inspire some people out there so going forward i will share that maybe in small doses maybe we'll make shorts out of it i don't know but i've been working hard <laughs> And I feel like I deserve a little bit of a break. And if you saw my last few videos, you saw I got a few Lego sets, and I thought today I would take a little bit of time. The storage room of doom is, is, is very angry right now, unless it wants to be completely disastrous for all eternity, which it, it would be if I continued on with doing what I'm gonna do today. And that is finally building a Lego set. This is my first Lego set I purchased in 2024. And here it is March, and I'm finally building a set that I got this year. This isn't a set from 2024. I do have those they're still sitting here but I was like dude I'm so tired of organizing can I just build something please can I do that do I have permission storage room myself <sighs> anyways this is the uh, Lego creator parrot exotic parrot to be precise this is 31136 this is a three-in-one set you guys know I love Lego creator it's like my favorite theme you can build a parrot which is what I'm gonna build because I want a parrot in real life and I thought maybe I could try this one out see how hard this one is to take care of and if this works out then we'll get a real parrot and he can become a, a personality here on the channel too maybe it replace me and then it could just be the parrot and Clark man going forward uh, you can also build a frog maybe if it wants to focus and then you can also build a fish so that's pretty darn cool. And I was like 253 pieces. I think I have enough time for this. It just occurred to me that maybe watching me build this and experience this set could possibly be less interesting than the whole process of organizing and selling. Maybe I've done this all wrong, but nonetheless, <laughs> I'm gonna build this up today, take my little break, share this with you, and then we'll get back to the grind tomorrow and I'll, I'll bring you along with me on the nightmare that is organizing. Today, we build a parrot though. Like I mentioned in the intro there, this set isn't actually a 2024 set. It came out last year. Only $20 for this, which is a pretty good bargain. And why I like these LEGO Creator sets so much is because of the three-in-one nature of it. You have some options on what you can build. I also feel like these sets lead to creativity as well. Like if you were to take all these pieces and give them to a kid, whether it be in this set or outside of it, they would just find all kinds of things to build out of this. And for some reason, like this just reminds me of my childhood with LEGO. These are the kind of like things, not that I could ever build an awesome parrot like this. And speaking of parrots or animals in particular, Lego has been killing it this year. I, there's another set I already wanna get and it's that the red fox. That thing is just gorgeous. So I'm like, I'm loving what they're doing with the creator. And with my style these days, in terms of Lego collecting being things that I can keep on display, I just feel like these are nice display pieces. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of going in on these. I did defeat the punch tabs, if you're curious. And if you want to know, there are no numbered bags with this. We've got three. In fact, I'll bring you over. Let's take a look. Doubt there's anything in here that's too exclusive. So if you were trying to build this just using your parts, you might be able to pull this off. That being said, of all the hype that I bring to Creator, there are no minifigs. And I know some people live for that, but for me with my style of display. I just want nice, bright, colorful things that I can look at and remember moments, including this one where I actually took a break from organizing. There's manuals with this, three of them to be precise. And the one that I'll be building from, of course, is the parrot. And I will work towards building this and I'll share, you, share with you <laughs> that process of me doing this and also trying to speak. Because these bags are unnumbered, you can pretty much just go ahead and open them all up. They did the bag inside of the bag routine with this. I'm not a fan of that. Unless it's numbered. That's the only way that I really like it when they do that. Because then you just have like one numbered bag. So if it's number one, put all the bags in there. Clark though, and you have to tell me what you feel about this. 
Clark said he doesn't like that. He wants every bag to be separate. So I guess everyone has different tastes. To be clear, I have pulled everything out and I dropped a bag on the floor, which officially, I think makes this a brick tech video. Here's all the parts sitting out. And what I typically do and what you'll see here is that I like to organize by color. I started doing that a while back and it just makes my life so much easier and how my brain works when looking for stuff. So whether it's one bag or all the bags all together, I sort by color and you'll see how beautiful that is in this next shot here. Tell me that's not satisfying as heck. Look at all those pieces all laid out there, just ready to be turned into something magnificent. And that's exactly what's gonna happen because we're about to have a parrot. that here is my finished parrot a lot smaller than I thought it would be that's what she said but it is built and it does definitely look like a parrot I enjoy the fact that the, what you would consider filler typically actually is integrated into the set really nicely so when you're looking at this like if that was off to the side I probably would just not even bother with it but the fact that it becomes a perch for the parrot actually works out really nicely so you got a pink flower there and this one's more of like a, a dark pink and lavender there's his little talons large talons for its feet <laughs> and there's its face from the side looks really good from the uh, head on yes yeah, still not too bad really uh, the wings you can move a little bit not much like you can you can make them uh, go into like supersonic speed mode like that but I don't think that's necessarily the move. You definitely want these down, kind of like they have them displayed there. The tail also moves as well. I think you can move that up. Not a whole lot of playability here. This is definitely more of a display piece than it is for play, but that's the reason that I bought it. And I think ultimately it looks best kind of at a 45 degree angle like that, just sitting there on display. Looking lovely for $20. I think I'm gonna give this one a, a buy. I think it's worth it for that, especially if you like the other builds too. Like, I wouldn't mind building that frog there. The fish, though, they really did a good job with that with the scenery that's around it. Would it, would it well done. In fact, I think that's a, probably a better use of scenery than the parrot, but the parrot, like most crater sets, that becomes the build that you want to build. So that's what that looks like. And let's put it on display somewhere. My displays are absolutely just so confused right now. So we'll put it right here in front of Darth Vader, right? Like, why wouldn't you? So that's where that is. And yeah, that probably not the best place for it. How about, what would it look like? No, it's not quite tall enough. Darn. How about up here? No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to find some place to put it. I don't like that either. As much as I thought organizing and selling sets was a struggle, finding a place to put your freshly built set, even more of a struggle than that is. How about over here? Harry Potter used to stand over here. I'm selling him, along with Hermione, on my uh, Brick Tech eBay store, which is where everything's being sold, links down below. We'll just put the parrot there for now, right beside Batman. Obviously, like what makes more sense on a DC display, Clark Man's miscellaneous things that he's built, than putting your parrot. So I kind of like that, right in front of the DC wall that I built a while ago. Man, it brings back good memories. Anyways, there is the exotic parrot set built. My little reward for today for, for working so hard. Oh, there's a little Roxy bear too. Little Roxy. Clark put a bunch of stuff over here. Anyways. There you go, that's what it looks like, and that was a nice little diversion from what's actually happening. Let me show you where I'm picking things up tomorrow. It still looks pretty similar in here in terms of, this is the backlog, this is just stuff that I, I really wanna collect and build. This is stuff that's actively for sale right now in the store. This is stuff that still needs listed, but where I've been working at extensively has been back here, and it still is a bit of a, a nightmare but it's not nearly as bad as it was. This was completely full to the point that I was in like the little corner of the table here working on my scale, having no space. And now, as you can see, I just have a few random sets to take care of. So my next victory in here is gonna be to have this table completely cleared off with the exception of my shipping materials. And like, that's gonna be like everything that I've been working towards, but it just takes so long with the listing process. And I've been organizing stuff, like I mentioned, all that's going back in those drawers, which if I bring you around here, you'll be able to see it a little more. Here's a look at the backlog. I've showed it before. There's a lot of sets that, that need built. 
uh, that I'm, I'm excited about, some big ones. Oh, Mickey Mouse, I wanna build that. <laughs> Black Panther bust, I'm the only one who wants to build that. Let me turn a light on over here so you can see kind of how things are going. This is where I keep all of my previously built Lego sets. As you can see, this wall is starting to get pretty filled up, but we got things like Ninjago, and that's, that's where that is. Marvel superheroes. I'm not putting dates on these because like I have Star Wars, like there's Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. If I got those broken down to like Star Wars 2021, Star Wars 2022, that'd be nice if I ever go in here looking for stuff. But there's some sets like, I don't know, I have Trolls. I don't think I really need a troll set in my collection. So this is something that I think I'm probably gonna sell off. So that's kind of what I'm doing too. I'm deciding what stays in the collection permanently. This probably has like no value. This is just an example. Maybe I would just part it out maybe, you know? So that's another decision to make. But then when it comes time to sell it, you have to decide What's it worth? Is it worth selling? What's the shipping gonna be? What kind of box am I gonna put in? What's the weight? Let's take some photos, let's do a description. That's why it takes so long and that's why you haven't seen any darn videos on this channel. I feel like I'm making excuses, but that's not really the case. I'm just explaining where I've been and what I've been up to, actively working on my goal and one day the storage room will look immaculate. It's gonna be perfect, I'll have lots of space to move around, but until then, it's gonna take some time and effort on my part and if you're interested, I'll bring you along on that journey if you wanna come along with me on that. If you do, God bless you, because it's gonna be something, but we'll do it and we'll get it done. If you want any of these sets, let me know. These ones are for sale right now. Links down below if you wanna buy, support the channel. Thanks, hope you have a glorious rest of your day and I'll see you in the next Brickitect organizing video.